everyone, Sekri Yasin here, and today I'm going to be going over tool presets, uh, what they are, and how to use them. So, a lot of people already know about brush presets, and to access those you go to Window, Brush, um, and you have a window here, and this just lets you change your brush. Uh, the problem is that every time you change your brush, the settings go back to... Uh, the default settings for this brush. Um, now you can lock certain things by clicking this padlock. So let's say I want all the brushes to have uh, opacity set to pen pressure. I can set that and then lock this and then no matter what brush I pick um, that's gonna always have uh, opacity locked. But sometimes you want brushes with completely different settings um, and that's where tool presets come in. So under window you can go to Tool Presets, and then uh, you'll have uh, this window. And what this does is, not only does it save this the specific brush, but it saves that brush with all its settings. So let's make a custom brush. So I'm just going to pick, I guess, this brush and change some of the settings. So maybe I'll unlock Transfer and, I don't know. I'll put some scattering on that. So now let's say that that's the brush I want to keep. And let's say I want it to be yellow. Because this is a cool thing about tool presets is you can also save the color of the brush. So um, up top, underneath File, uh, there's a little brush icon and it has um, a down arrow. So you click that. And then here, it looks like the same button as New Layer. If you click this, it says New Tool Preset. So then you can save uh, your brushes, whatever you want to call it, and click on or off include color. So if you have include color, it will always start with that um, color selected. Most of the time, I don't use include color, but the time where I do is with my uh, sketching brush, because I like to sketch on this background and I like to have uh, this kind of reddish color. So in that case, I do click include color. So for me, having all the brushes uh, saved to tool presets is much more efficient. And I can have the same brush uh, with different options uh, attached to it. And now I guess I'll just go over real quick how to find uh, your tool presets. So in your uh, program files, if, if you're using, this is if you're using a PC, uh, under the Adobe folder, you just go into your Photoshop folder, and then there's a folder called Presets and Tools. So under this, this is where all your presets are saved, and this is where you can also, you know, drag and drop presets that you've downloaded online, and then they'll become available to you. Now, the other thing about tool presets is that not only does it work for brushes, it works for anything. So you could have an eraser as well and have its own presets. Um, and you can do it for, for anything. And if you want all of them to show, uh, you just uncheck this box that says current tool only. And if I uncheck that, then every preset is available to me. But I usually like to check that. So I just have, you know, in the eraser, I have the eraser presets, in the brush, I have the brush presets. So pretty much that's it. There's not much to it. Um, and I think if you use tool presets a lot, you'll start to stop using brush presets as much just because it's so much more convenient to have um, the brush exactly customized the way you want it. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.